In FeatureCam, you now have the ability to set machine limits for your machine simulation models. This new functionality allows you to set the limits of all the machining axes, linear and rotary, helping define the working limits of the machine tool and letting you check the part can be machined safely before being sent for production. In the event of the machine exceeding the limits, the simulation will pause, warning you that the limits have been reached. In addition to the machine simulation limits, these can now also be verified in the machine design file itself, with a new jog function to verify the limits set. Machine limits not only saves time and money, as the machine is only cutting parts it can physically machine, but it also makes the machine simulation module a viable option for three-axis users. Now in this example we're not going to look at a three-axis example, this is a five-axis example, and what we're going to do is we're going to run through and sh show how we can utilize the machine limits. Now in this particular instance if I look at the part you can see I've got three different setups and each setup has a number of simple features in this case face, side uh, and also some hole drilling. Uh, what I'm using also is the default tools crib and I have a post which is currently set um, as a machine, design, a machine that has, uh, has no limits. This is a DMG DMU 60T machine. Also note that I've uh, got a tool change location. In this case I've set it to be 00100. So if I run through a machine simulation, just doing a single step, just to get the view right because the table slides up and down in Z. Play through the simulation and we get something like that and then we get our different setup orientations and the part finishes. And we're finished with the component, everything looks pretty good, I think I'm pretty happy to send that off to the machine uh, to be machined now. However, we haven't really checked or verified whether this will physically fit on the machine or work on the machine that we're going to send it to. So what we need to do is utilize the new limits uh, to help us verify whether this can be machined safely or not. So to do this, if you go to the browser area and just open the folder, uh, there is actually a, a series of MD files and a couple of posts in here. So in this case I've got my no limits post which is loading uh, the default uh, machine design file that doesn't have any limits set in it. So I'm going to first of all just drag and drop the, uh, uh, the limits post, so that's the post I'm going to use. Uh, and then just going back to that folder, I'm also going to go ahead and just open one of these MD files. So in this case I'm going to open the one that has the limits set for us. So here we can see the, uh, the makeup of the machine. And if we go to the machine area and just verify, you can see the parent-child relationships have been set for each of the components. As well as that, if we go to the machine design area and go to specify movement, we can identify which direction or which orientation the different elements move in. So for example, if I go in ahead and select the C table, you can see uh, it's indicated as the table rotates in C. The key thing to note here is the new tab that allows us to specify the limits. Now if I go to the specify limits area, by default, uh, once we've activated a particular limit uh, axis, you can see here that we get uh, the option to enter these values in. In the case of the C table, uh, this is allowed to effectively move infinitely, so we haven't set any limits, uh, but this is what you'd see for all the default uh, settings for the other, for other movements. If I go back to the specified movement, in this case I'm going to go ahead and select the, the Z slide. So I select the table itself, again you can see it moves delta Z. If I go to the specify limits now, you can see here that we've set linear limits, and we've got linear limits of between 0 and 560. With its home position, so its current location, which is relative to this, uh, this uh, table axis, uh, is set at 0. If I choose another axis, for example the Y slide, and again you can see moves delta y and go to the specify limits. Here you can see we've got minus 280 to plus 280, but we've also set a home position. Now the home position comes from the relationship of where this location is uh, relative to our uh, table attach point. To verify this you can see we've got 274 set as the home position. If I go and actually look at the coordinate system for this, so the table UCS is at 0, if I go to the tool location UCS you can see the Y location in this case is 274. Note that the X location is 130. If we go back and check for the X slide, 
And again, specify limits, we can see the limits have set there with the home position set to 130. Finally, we have the, the B axis. So I go select the B axis, in this case. And look at the specify limits, we can see here we've got between minus 120 and plus 30. So before we even send this to uh, to simulate inside uh, an FM file, we can actually verify whether we're happy with this by going to the machine design and choosing the jog machine option. By selecting the jog machine, you can see I get uh, information regarding each of the different axes, and I get a slider to allow me to move that particular axis along. So I can move these all independently, check that I'm happy with the motion, also tilt the axes over, see that I'm happy with that, and I can rotate the C-axis. If I get to a position where I want to reset the machine, I can cl simply click Reset All. I can also enter physical amounts that I want to move these by. So for example, if I enter minus 100, just press Tab, you can see that moves the head location, uh, or the X slide, to minus 100. So once I'm happy with that, I can go back to my FM file. And in this case, uh, I've already loaded the, the new post that uses the, uh, the limits machine. So we're going to go ahead and run a machine simulation. Now before I do, uh, we need to verify that we are using the machine limits in the simulation. And we can do this by going to Options, Simulation, under 2D, 3D Shaded, we have a Pause on Limits option. So let's go ahead, just do a single step again and rotate the view round just to make sure we're happy. And I can play through. So as we index over, we can see the B axis, in this case, has gone to has got a limit set of 30, and its current position has gone to 35.61. If I actually allow that to continue, and now you can see the X slide has gone beyond its limit as well. So in this case, we've gone from 250 to 275, uh, so we've again overextended that X distance as well. I could continue to try this, but in each case you can see we're getting out of position for each of those limits. So I'm going to stop the simulation and try and fix this. So in this case it was the second setup and it's also the third setup, uh, and we've got a, a, a asymmetric angle in the case of this machine, so we can go to minus uh, 120 or plus 30. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this, I'm just going to go to the, the setup itself, I'm going to edit, and in this case we're using the 5-axis position, uh, currently a set as standard. I could use a post preference if I want to, if I want to set, uh, set this in the post processor, but I'm going to do this manually and just tell it to give me the alternate option. And go ahead and just accept the defaults and say finish, and do the same for setup 3. So again, I'm going to edit that setup, and again switch to alternate position, and say finish. So I can re-simulate this now, again single step just to set up my view. I'm going to play this so far through, and before we saw the tool heading off, uh, or the B axis heading off in this direction, as we rotate round you can now see we are cutting on the other side, so we're well within the machine limits and machine capability. So we finish all of those faces, we're happy with the component and we're well within the machine limit capability.